Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and if you're running iOS 17 and want to go back to iOS 16, whether you're on the beta or the final release, and Apple is still making iOS 16 updates available for the public for newer devices, I wanted to show you how to downgrade iOS 17 to iOS 16 without losing any data. Now you'll need a few things in order to do this. The first thing you'll need is a computer, whether that be a Mac or Windows computer. You'll also need the latest version of iTunes on Windows, or you'll need a Mac with the latest version of Mac OS. Also, you'll need your Apple ID and password, and just a couple words of caution. Once we actually start this, it will erase everything on the iPhone. So it will wipe all of the data. So you want to make sure you have a backup, but this time around, there is no way that I have found that's stable that allows you to downgrade with your iOS 17 backup to iOS 16 backup. So hopefully you have a backup from iOS 16. Otherwise you'll actually have to install everything over iCloud. Typically that will back up things such as messages, your bookmarks, your mail account, different music things that you have set up, whether that be playlists, also your different phone calls and everything else you have selected within your settings for iCloud. I'll show you that in a moment. Also, if you're running watchOS 10 betas and you downgrade to iOS 16, watchOS 10 will not be able to communicate with your phone any longer on iOS 16. Many people have been running into issues with that. So I just wanted to caution you about that before we get started. Now, first thing is you want to make sure you have a backup on iOS 17 either way, in case you need to reinstall it and get all of your data back. Either way, we want to make sure we have a backup now before we downgrade. Go to our settings, you'll see we're already on iOS 17, then tap your name at the top, scroll down to iCloud, and under iCloud, you'll see iCloud backup. Now, if you don't have enough storage space in iCloud, you'll either have to purchase more or you can back up on your computer instead. So you can back up now, make a backup, and you're good to go. At least it will have all of your data. Now, if you're not able to do this, but you're still syncing with iCloud, it will still back up all of your information. So as you can see here, it says apps using iCloud, photos, iCloud Drive, iCloud Mail, passwords and keychains. And you'll see here all of the different things that are turned on. This is all synced to iCloud and you can find a lot of this data on iCloud.com if you want to verify it's there. All of these apps that are selected here are syncing to iCloud and should restore back to your phone either way once they're turned on after we've installed iOS 16 or downgraded to it. So just make sure these are on. If you're using those, all of these things will sync automatically. But if you want to verify, go to iCloud.com or make a backup on your computer. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually put our phone into recovery mode. This is what Apple says is the easiest way to do this. So once you have your computer nearby, we need to put our phone into recovery mode. Now we'll need to connect to the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me grab my lightning cable here. We'll plug in and you may have to trust the computer on your iPhone. So you'll see it says trust. You'll put in your passcode as well. Once you've connected to your computer on the left side, you'll see your iPhone. You may need to trust it here as well. So click on trust. Once it's trusted, you can see the information. We're currently on iOS 17. Now, Apple says the best way to actually get this installed is to put this into recovery mode. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, you can back up here just directly on your computer. Make sure you encrypt it and select a password. That way it will bring all of those passwords back over. It will make it easier. But either way, we can't restore from an iOS 17 backup. It does not seem to work reliably anyway. Now, what we want to do is put our phone into recovery mode. So then it will actually allow us to restore the iPhone. So this is the only way to downgrade. So in order to do that on your iPhone, you want to press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power sleep wake button. So let's do that. Volume up, volume down, press and hold power sleep wake, wait for it to turn off and keep holding it until it reboots into recovery mode. This can take a little bit. I'll do it in real time here, but you'll see it rebooted. It disappeared from the Mac as well. And you'll see I'm still holding it turned on. We'll give it a moment here. It's still booting up and continue to hold. You'll see here it will jump right into recovery mode. So now we need to go over to the computer so that we can restore it. Now, before we click restore, if you change your mind and you want to go back without actually restoring and just use iOS 17, you can do that by following the same steps as we got into restore mode with. Volume up, volume down, press and hold the power sleep wake button. Keep holding until it reboots. And I'll just show you this and then we'll actually restore the iPhone just in case you change your mind. So once it reboots here, you'll see it will turn on. We'll get the Apple. And once we get the Apple, we let go this time. 
this will bring us back into iOS. So if we don't want to restore at this point, this is sort of the fail safe point where we won't erase the phone. So again, we'll let it boot up in real time just so you can see, and then we'll go ahead and restore it back to iOS 16. So you'll see we're back to our main screen. I'll put in my passcode and we're still on iOS 17, no issues there. So let's go ahead and get it restored now. So before we click restore and update, you'll see it says, are you sure you want to restore this iPhone iPhone to its factory settings? All of your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. Click restore and update. Then we'll give it just a moment to do its thing and you'll see it will tell us the latest version here and what it actually includes. Go ahead and click next, then click agree to the agreement and then it will start to download automatically from Apple and get the update ready to go and start the restore. Now, depending on your internet connection, this could take hours or it could take minutes. So this could be extremely fast for here. It's a little bit slow right now, depending on your internet, but this will download and then begin the restore process on its own. Now, once it's done downloading, it will then begin to extract the software and then begin putting it onto the iPhone itself. Now this can take a few minutes, so we'll just let this run and see how long it takes. It took nine minutes to restore and we're at the main lock screen or home screen where we set it up again. We will need our Apple ID and password, so we'll just select our language, select our country, and then we can either set it up manually or use another device we have to set it up. I'll set it up manually for now, choose your Wi-Fi network, and then it will take a moment to activate. Now, after it's rebooted to this point, you can actually unplug it, but make sure you don't unplug it until it's actually rebooted and at the hello screen. Now, this is where I said you'd need your Apple ID and password, so you'll go ahead and put that in here. Once you've put in your user ID and passcode, it's going to ask you if you want to accept data and privacy. We'll go ahead and set up Face ID. We'll get started. And then we'll get this set up quickly. We can choose to actually use it with a mask or not use it with a mask. You can set it up later, of course, and then hit continue. Then we'll create a new passcode for this phone. And now we can restore from an iCloud backup or not restore at all. You won't be able to restore your iOS 17 backup to this, but you can restore any previous backup. So if you go to restore from iCloud backup, you'll see any of the previous backups you had. So we'll do that. Now it will take a moment to log in. And once you've done that, it will say, choose a backup. So we'll wait for this to load and then we can choose any of the backups. Now it's loaded the backups and you can see today it shows a backup from this phone. However, it won't work because it's actually iOS 17. So once you tap on this, it will ask you to update to iOS 17 betas. So you have other backup options. So if we show all backups, we have different ones here, depending on the actual version. So one that's on iOS 16 back in May or even January from an iPad, you can restore any of those. If I select this one, we'll just go ahead and restore this. Of course you could do this on iTunes as well, or you could set this up as new, but we'll give it a moment and it says, make this your new iPhone. We'll hit continue or we can customize it. And it says, update your iPhone automatically and then enable location services. You'll need that for things like maps or other things. We can set up later in wallet for Apple pay. And then it's asking if I want to bring over the Apple watch. I don't right now. Anyway, it's asking if I want to use Siri, we'll hit continue. And then you can set up Siri, hit continue. It's just telling more about that. I don't share the audio recordings. We can set up screen time now or later. So lots of just typical setups here. I don't like to share the analytics and then you can select the appearance light or dark mode. We'll select dark, hit continue. We don't want to continue the beta program. And then it's telling us about emergency SOS. We'll hit continue again. And now it's going to restore. This could take some time depending on how much data you have. If you have five gigabytes, it's going to take less time than if you had a hundred gigabytes. So give it some time, it will restore. And once it restores, we'll take a look at what we have. It took about six minutes for it actually to download and restore, but it still has to install a bunch of apps. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And you can see our home screen has a similar layout to before, but now it has to install all the the apps and bring over all of the data. So this will take some time and it will bring over things such as messages and more, as long as we had those enabled and backed up in iCloud. So if we go to our settings and then we go down here, you'll see it says restore in progress and estimated 20 gigabytes will be downloaded. So again, this could take some time and it depends on your overall internet connection. If we go to our name at the top, go to iCloud, 
under iCloud, go to show all, you'll see that we have all of these different things enabled. What that means is it's now going to restore all of the information that we had enabled here, including contacts and more directly back to the iPhone as it syncs over iCloud. So if we go into our photos, it's still going to start syncing it. It will show zero for a while, but it will say syncing with iCloud and it will bring everything back. If you had that enabled, the same is true with messages. You can see, I have some email messages as well. If we go into music, we'll let it load. Everything should be sort of in the same order. Things I've recently played. All of this is synced over iCloud if you have that enabled. So the app layout and more, as long as you restored from a backup or had those enabled, those things will move over, even if you set it up as a new phone. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have everything enabled in iCloud to sync, they'll just restore back to your phone. Not everything necessarily from games will do that, but most things will just sync automatically if you had that enabled. If we go to settings, then we go to general, then about, you'll see it restored to the current version of iOS 16.5.1 at the time of this video. So we're back to 16 and ready to go. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below and let me know if this helped you out as well. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.